Kokotaso Audio Theater presents Hot Drinks. One, espresso. That you don't it's want It's okay. To... No spill. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. I was just expecting Jackie. You're, well, taller. <laughs> She's got lots of energy for someone so short. And this is only her second espresso of the night. She's intense. <laughs> yeah. Could I, could I grab something really quick? Sure thing. Regular drinks are on the board and specials are on this sheet. Actually, Jackie said there's a house guitar. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're calling it a house guitar. Oh, okay. oh perfect. I like the sound of Martin's. Yeah, it's held up all these years. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. That's way out of tune. Let's see. There you go. So you play? I used to. Thanks. Well, Connor. Leah. I'll be nice to your guitar, I promise. Have fun. Uh, and tell Jackie to come get her espresso before it gets cold. I really need to change that stupid guitar strap. Give it up for Lorray Cisco. <laughs> up next is, oh, new name, Connor Shaw. Uh, Leah says your espresso is ready? Great. <laughs> Anyone have a capo I could borrow? Oh, <laughs> thanks, dude. All right. Uh, hey, everyone. My name is Connor. Nice little town you got here. I'm uh, just passing through. I travel quite a bit for work. My job is to follow migratory birds, and sometimes they inspire me. I wrote this from the perspective of the Cape May warbler. Hey, Jackie. Enjoy. Did I hear him right? He follows birds for a living? I'd follow him around. Seriously, he's got more than a few years on you. Kind of dreamy, though. Am I right? He's kind of dreamy. Kind of. (laughs) Two. Black. Coffee black. Thanks, dear. This roast is keeping me going tonight. How's the grading coming along? The ones I really worry about are my grad students, especially the girl. Only one in the entire program. This young woman knows more about the cosmic microwave background than anyone else in the entire department, including the faculty. Impressive. She's impatient, though. She wants to plow through to that PhD like she's in some kind of a hurry. Sorry. Didn't even see the stack there. Molina Limon presents The Lemon Life. Trademark. This lady isn't playing around. I told her this was a bad place for her cards. Here, here you go. I think I got all of them. That should keep them from falling again. It's the universe reminding me to keep my emotions in check when I'm talking about my students. But it's a good thing, right? That you're so passionate shows you really care? I got into astrophysics because I was compelled to stare into the black of the night for hours with a curiosity so vast. It bordered on obsession. I want that same drive for all of my students. Uh, I really don't want this young woman to give up, but something's missing, and I don't know how to help her find him. Maybe I should just spend time on Carolyn Shoemaker and Vera Rubin instead of always defaulting to the standard giants. You mean like Jupiter and Saturn? No, those are the gas giants. I'm talking about Galileo, (laughs) Newton, Sagan, Hawking. Oh, I know one, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Very good. Have you been watching the Science Channel? No, I was just talking to someone about this and... Oh my god. You're coming here at the wrong time. What? Of course. It's too late. For my students? Too late in the day. Come here mid-afternoon tomorrow. I'm at the university until 2.30. Then come right after. She'll be here. Who? A girl. A high school student. She drinks hot chocolate. With marshmallows. And you want me to meet her? 
Yeah. You have to ask about the marshmallows. Connor Shaw. Wow. That was quite a you know that guy? No. Not really. You never clap. What? You make me sound rude. It's all good. You're busy working. I like the song. That's all. You should get his number. He's just passing through town. And you trusted him with your guitar? Were you eavesdropping? The guitar has that same hot pink strap from when you used to play. It's a dead giveaway. Recording. Speaking of your guitar, it looks like he's bringing it back. Oh, so I'll take the, my black elixir and grade those freshman papers. Remember, tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Hey, thanks for the loaner. Oh, you want to hold on to it a bit longer? Jackie usually lets people do a second song. I mean, if you're planning to stick around. Yeah, maybe I will. Thanks again. Three, bittersweet. Two bittersweet specials. 60% cacao, frothed coconut milk, and our secret syrup. Sounds perfect after pad thai takeout. Mmm. Wow. Right? You can get a latte anywhere, but the bittersweet special is a hot drinks coffee bar exclusive. Not to brag, but... I make it the best. Then I'm lucky you're closing tonight. I close up most nights. This job was supposed to give me time to write music. That was back when I still played. Solo? Duo. Me and this guy. We recorded a couple of albums. Never got around to finishing the third one. What happened? What's wrong? I just, I'm not feeling it. Well, we're limited on studio time. Yeah, I know. But I'm really confused about this strap. What's confusing? You needed a guitar strap, I gave you one. Come on. You give me this gift, and then a week later, surprise, you're engaged. Whoa. Okay, um... I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. Great. Thanks. I didn't think you and Audrey were that serious. She just seemed like another one in your flock. Are you calling her a sheep? Guess the rest of us are the sheep, right? I thought you were fine with us being friends. I was. But then you gave me a present. A and you had that look in your eyes. The one you used to get when... It was never going to happen for us. I, I told you that. You said that the first time. But not all the rest. And it was kind of a lot. I mean, you were there. Leah... If you can't let go of the She'll past... She'll never understand you. Not the way I do. Then we can't make music together. What? But the album... We'll finish it, and then that's it. I, I think it's for the best. Why'd you buy me the guitar strap? It was Audrey's idea. I'd mentioned yours had broken. We were at a music store. She saw it on clearance. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. You're not stupid. Sorry to interrupt, but we've got another group booked in like an hour, so... Right. Um, let's take it from the top. Okay? No. I can't. I haven't played my guitar since. Sorry, I probably shouldn't have dumped all that on you. It's fine. I, I took a break from music for a while, too. How'd you pick it up again? Change of scenery. What, those birds you follow? They're a part of it. So where are they headed, these birds? The species I track mostly end up in the Caribbean and Venezuela. Spent last winter in the Dominican Republic, and now I'm headed to Puerto Rico. Seriously? That's where my mom's from. No kidding. Where? Rincon. Surf's up! Yeah, except I've never surfed <laughs> oh, in my life. Oh, me neither. Beautiful sunsets, though. Oh, my God, I know. It's been so long since I visited. Maybe you're up for a change of scenery? I wish. It's not the best time for a vacation. We're short on staff. It's been nice tonight. I agree. So I have to ask, do you stay after hours and eat takeout with some lucky girl after every open mic you play? Not at all. First time, in fact. You should stop here on the way back up the coast. Maybe I will. Is the bittersweet special still on the menu in the spring? It is. We can pour it over ice, too. Iced hot chocolates. I'm intrigued. 
You'll have to come back and try it. Four. Marshmallows. Hot chocolate. Extra marshmallows? The tiny ones, like always. I hope they line up for you, mamita. Thanks. Ah, stupid cheap-ass umbrella. Can't even keep my hair dry. Hey, Adina, you want your usual? Hell yeah. I need my black elixir after that commute. My car was wedged in between two school buses that stopped on every single corner of Birch Avenue. But you made it. Thanks. She's over there, with the jumbo mug. Seems really into her latte. Hot chocolate. Remember to ask about the marshmallows. marshmallows. <laughs> yes. Her name is Araceli. Uh, excuse me. Araceli? Um, yeah? This might sound strange, but I'm supposed to ask you about the marshmallows. What about them? I'm just following Leah's orders. Oh. Mocha with soy. Orion's belt and sword. Orion? The constellation. Yes, I, I'm familiar with it. But, from my angle, I see the front legs of Pegasus. You do? I see constellations everywhere. My dogs kibble on the kitchen floor. Salt on the sidewalk after a snowstorm. Confetti. The abstract design on the wallpaper at the hospital. My mom used to make me hot chocolate with fat marshmallows that touched my nose when I took a sip. It made her laugh. Not mean, though. Not the way my father laughed when I told him I wanted to study astronomy. I take it he imagines other plans for you? I'm kind of, you know, good at math. To him, that means I should become an accountant. But you love the stars. He's one of those up with the sun, don't waste the daylight types. I told him my world brightens when the sun goes down. I know it sounds pretty emo, but he didn't have to laugh at me. Well, some people can't understand studying what we won't ever reach. My mother understood. She'd take me to this observatory at the university. Once we went during this lunar eclipse, and they gave out buttons with a cartoon moon wearing a boa, saying, You're, You're standing, standing in, in my, my light. light. You were there? I'm a faculty member in the physics department. Really? That was a great evening. My mother knew I wanted to become an astronomer. She helped me research universities even when she was really sick. The plan was for me to get accepted into a program and tell my father once I was in. Guess we forgot that cancer makes all plans subject to change. Um, I'm so sorry. Thanks. You know, hmm. Somehow I ended up with an extra textbook for one of my Intro to Astrophysics courses. It's yours if you want it. You sure? Positive. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> nice bookmark. My lord, those Lemon Life cards are haunting me. I got home and found a bunch in my tote bag. You know Melina Limon is here, right? Oh, is she? Lemon lip. Gas. Extra lemon. Oh, I see. That outfit is very... Yellow? Sunny. She's sunny. Bright. Like Sirius. In Canis Major. Five. Lemon. Lemon lift. Extra lemon. Thank you. <gasps> Did you try that lemon rinse I suggested? Yeah, so refreshing. Why are my cards hidden in here? Oh, to keep them from being knocked over. But I made sure it was a yellow mug to match your color scheme. Uh, Melina, that's a lot of napkins shoved inside that mug. I'm giving the cards a lift so people can see my branding. Did I mention I now sell lemon lozenges? Great. If I get a cough, I'll come find you. Molina Limon? Yes. I picked up your card the other day. I'm Amir Deeb. Nice to meet you, Amir. Something tells me you're ready for a lemon life. Oh, uh, actually, I'd love to hear more. Excellent. Please join me. So, Amir, when I say wellness, what comes to mind? I guess, as a dancer, I'd say 
being in shape. That's not an uncommon answer. People often think a rigorous fitness routine is the secret to optimal physical health. But really, it's this. Lemon. These citrus beauties combat dry skin, oily skin, acne, wrinkles, unwanted freckles, chapped lips, itchy scalp, hair loss, gray hair, dull hair, stained teeth, poor blood circulation, indigestion, and constipation. That's a lot. If you free yourself from these physical ailments, your thoughts will be sharper, your memory will improve, and you'll find that elusive state of serenity. Wow. Lemons. Who knew? I had no idea. Back when I was a teenager, eating lemons as a meal? Uh, no calories. I was a model. I hear you. I have been dancing since I was nine. Celery is my favorite no-cal meal whenever my scale starts spitting three-digit numbers at me. Oh, you can't <laughs> sustain that. God knows I tried. Mm. I ingested, inhaled, restricted, binged. Mm -hmm. I guess it does take its toll. I was in a sorry state by the time I was 30. I can't blame my agent for dropping me. My boyfriend left once the money ran out. Oh, no. Of course, modeling was the only job I'd ever had. I didn't know what to do with myself. Then, one day, I was listening to the Wellness Warriors podcast, and there was a segment on using lemons as medicine, as a cleanser, as a beauty aid, and my future path appeared before me, a yellow brick road lined with lemon trees. I called up friends, had them over for lemonade, lemon chicken, and lemon meringue. We made lemon insect repellent. Dirty chai. I knew I could guide people to their own lemon life. And now the brand is expanding faster than I ever dreamed. This lemon life, does it come with a cure for a broken heart? Who broke it? Okay, let's press pause. If we're going to cover this subject, I need to caffeinate. Be right back. Mm. Please don't tell me Melina's brainwashed you into ordering a lemon lift. Oh no, honey, I need my coffee. You bet. And between you and me, hmm. the hair rinse and facial cleanser are pretty good, but don't let her pressure you about that Lemon Life clothing line. <sighs> Leah, please. You know I look horrid in yellow. In dreams we do. Six. Light and sweet. Mild blend, fat free, half and half, seven splendors. Thanks, honey. So, who broke your heart? The one violently gesturing over there? Oh. He's 23. Oh, I remember 23. <laughs> you do? Actually, it's a little fuzzy. <laughs> I take it he's a dancer, too. First year with the company. Ah, I can't stand this. The way he sits there, laughing and gesturing like some kind of marionette. But this puppet show's just for me. You think he knows you're here? He doesn't seem to be paying attention. Oh, yeah, he could have gone to Starbucks or the diner down the street. He wants me to see his new skinny boy. Now I can't even take a post-matinee break in peace. You know, I have this lemon zen oil that might help relax you. Thanks. Ooh, yummy. Now, dab some behind your we ears. We sat at that table every day for a to month. Invite His in body is so light and delicate. The soothing the energy. Mouth I've ever seen. And to release what cannot be. I told him I was going somewhere new. To a place where three digit numbers on the scale didn't matter. You can still get there. And that Boy, he doesn't hold the key. You do. Me? Yes. With lemons? There is no lemon cure for a broken heart. Oh, I was afraid you'd say that. But you'll be okay. I think we can work together. Find new markets for the Lemon Life brand. What do you have in mind? I know a ton of fellow dancers looking for the fountain of youth. You might find it in lemons. <laughs> I like the way you think. Hey, Jackie. Sorry I'm late. Babysitting run long. And this rain's the worst. Oh, hey, guitar case. I was playing a little before my shift. Really? That's great. 
You have to play the open mic. Guess I better practice. So, how was last night with Connor? Good. We ordered takeout. It was really nice. Now what? Now he moves on to the south with the birds. That's it? Of course that's it. I'm not about to follow him following birds. Even if the birds are headed to my mom's homeland that I'm dying to visit. He's following birds to Puerto Rico? That's a sign. I can't drop everything to travel around with a stranger. You're right. That'd be nuts. Besides, I can't even think about taking a vacation until we hire another person. Okay. How's this for another sign? I just found out that the family I babysit for is moving to Finland because the dad's a former Canadian curling champion with Finnish ancestry, and the Finnish Curling Association is trying to up its medal count for the next winter games, and... Is that dreamy bird guy? I thought he left town already. Me too. Seven. To go. It's kind of cold, but at least the overhang keeps us dry. I like it out here. Tucked away and quiet. Wasn't expecting to see you again until spring. I didn't plan on coming back today. Thing is, last night was... Yeah, I know. But I've got this job that keeps me moving. Right, and I've got to stay here. You sure you can't take some time off? Did you hear Jackie tell me she was looking for more hours? No. But does that mean you could take a break now? Maybe travel a bit? Are you seriously asking me to go with you? I know it's crazy. We've known each other less than 24 hours. Insane to even bring it up, but that's obviously not stopping me. So I I think we need to get to know each other. Of course. F- forget I even asked. Uh, see you in the spring, then. How about in a couple of months? I'll be in Puerto Rico. I've always wanted to spend the holidays down there. Noche Buena, New Year's, Three Kings Day... I've got family I can stay with. That's right. Rincon. Oh, please. I've got cousins all over the island. And while I'm down there, you and I can meet up. Maybe even jam out. You found the note (laughs) I left in the guitar case? Yep. This morning, before my shift. (laughs) I should have just spent the night here. Leah, thanks again. Wish I didn't have to go so soon. Hope to (laughs) jam out with you someday. Connor. I think I'm done with this pink strap. Okay, let's see if I remember this. Yeah. I don't think I've ever spoken the words jam out in my entire life. And yet I wrote that on a napkin. It was sweet. And I think jamming would be fun. I know the perfect place. There's an open mic at this little cafe in Old San Juan. Sounds good. It's a date in two months. I should probably get going. Yes. Follow those birds. (laughs) Onward south. Hey, you want a drink to go? Yeah. That, that'd be great. This production of Hot Drinks was presented by Cocotazo Audio Theater. It was written and directed by Dania Ramos. The cast included Michael Aquino, Monifa Brown, Rachel Faison, Leilani Figueroa, Gus Ibriani, Ernio Hernandez, Christine Mariani, Salvador Navarro, and Dania Ramos. Hot Drinks was recorded in Bloomfield, New Jersey. Michael Aquino was the audio engineer. The opening theme music and Cape May Warbler were written and performed by Michael Aquino. Additional songs featured were written and performed by Loray Sisko, 
Ken Kusama, Declan Remus, and Dina Shashkis. For complete production credits and for more information about Kokotaso Audio Theater, please visit kokotasomedia.com. That's C O C O T A Z O media.com. If you enjoyed this production, please subscribe to the Kokotaso Audio Theater podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen. Rate and review the show to help us reach a wider audience. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Kokotaso Media. Thank you for listening to Hot Drinks, produced by Kokotaso Audio Theater. From our minds to your ears.